I hope you're all having an absolutely amazing Christmas. My Christmas day is going amazing so far. I can literally smell the roast dinner cooking downstairs, and let's just say, it smells really good. The best part about Christmas, like the best present of Christmas of all is obviously getting to spend time with family, with your loved ones. I'm so grateful for all of my family and that I'm going to spend the day with them today. Anyways, today I'm gonna to be doing a haul of all my Christmas gifts that I got over the course of the month because I opened some of them early as well. And like some of them are from my siblings. So thank you, um, mom, Darren, and the rest of my family for all of the gifts. I really appreciate them. They're all really thoughtful and I just love them all. So thank you guys so much. And obviously thank you for just being the amazing people you are and also thank you Mia Corns and I had so much fun this month getting to basically spend well I spent every day with you guys I got to speak to you guys every day and that was just so amazing doing vlogmas I just I love that so thank you Mia Corns for being the best people as well so anyways let's get started with the haul I've broken it down into piles here so I think what we should go through first is makeup I absolutely love makeup because it's like art on my face and obviously I love drawing and painting and stuff so I get to paint my face which is just so much fun. <laughs> but with makeup, I do have to be very careful of my little sister, Karma. What? What's happened? <laughs> what? Oh no! Oh no! I have to keep it up on the top, top shelf in my room so she doesn't get hold of it. So one of my favorite gifts is this. The Urban Decay Stone Palette. I have already opened this. I opened this as an early gift. So I actually have already done an IGTV over on my Instagram. I'm at me as life official if you want to go follow me over on there of like making a look. That was the first time me ever using it. And I'm actually wearing some of it today. But anyways, guys, look how gorgeous this is. I mean, like the front of it is literally amazing. Like it's 3D. Look how cool that is, guys. I actually really love crystals and I find like, I'm really into like crystals and spirituality. I find it really cool. So the fact that these are all of them are like based on crystals and spirituality is amazing. Like the names of them. And like, I feel like the eyeshadows literally, like the pressed pigments literally look like crystals, which is amazing. And they're named after crystals. So what I'm wearing today is Antidote. I added that to also some pink from another one of my Christmas presents from Sienna actually. And then I'm also wearing Opal Aura in my inner corner. And I have to say, I love that color so much. Also, I really love the color Good Karma because obviously my little sister is Good Karma. And I think that's a really nice like inner corner color. And yeah, all of these colors are so beautiful. I use all of these like, well, maybe not, I don't use jade. I haven't actually ever used jade. But all of the other colors on the top row I've used and they're gorgeous. Honestly, like Tiger's Eye, Opal Aura and Vibes. This is so so cute. And then this is a present which I opened up this morning. I put this on this morning, so I'm actually wearing it now. And I didn't realize, but it actually says that your lips look better. And it's a custom color that changes based on your undertone. So I really like how it looks on me. And I think it's a little bit, lips feel plumped with moisture. And I do feel like my lips look a little bit like plumped. <laughs> but yeah, anyways guys, this is also from Urban Decay and it's the Vice Lip Chemistry Lasting Glassy Tin. And I absolutely love it. Like I said, I'm wearing it today and it's is such a gorgeous color and it's so cute. I just love the, like the outside just looks so like, it looks so cool. So then the next palette, which I'm actually wearing a combo of Amber Decane's stone palette and this palette. And this one was actually a gift from Sienna. So thank you so much, Sienna. All of the rest of the gifts, if I don't say it's from like one of my siblings is from my parents or, you know, like the whole family together. Oh, look how gorgeous these colors are. So this is by the brand Yuya. I've never heard of that brand before, um, but this palette is actually based on Las Vegas, which I think is so cute. Um, obviously my parents got married in Las Vegas and we were all there and it was just an amazing day. I think that was like a year and a half ago now. And not only has it got really cute colors, like these are literally gorgeous. I can like remember that day when I put my makeup on, which is really fun. So today I'm actually wearing this pink color and this pink color. Yeah, that's all I'm wearing from this palette as well with the other colors from my other palette, but these are so cute. And I have these like these golds and like this one's like a pinky gold and it's so gorgeous. I'll show you guys. Look how pretty that color is. I absolutely love it. I will probably be covered in makeup if I keep doing that, but it's so gorgeous. The next sort of makeup product I got is, well, it technically isn't makeup. I haven't actually opened it yet. So let's open it together. This is a crystal serum roller and it is my favorite crystal. So let's open this up together. Ah, this is really tricky to get into. 
Oh, meerkorns. So the crystal, oh wow, even the ball is made out of the crystal. So the crystal is amethyst. I absolutely love amethyst because one, it's my favorite color purple, which is absolutely gorgeous. It is also good for your third eye chakra, which is like the chakra which helps you um, with like connect, it's like your first spiritual chakra. So it can basically, if you awaken your third eye chakra, you can have like more supernatural abilities, like, you know, um, seeing into the future or it can help you have lucid dreams or even astral projections. So that's one of the reasons why I love amethyst. It also can help you sleep. So I just think it's a really relaxing crystal and it's so pretty. Look at it guys. And this is a serum roller so I can put my serum in here and then like put it on my face or I feel like you could probably even put like essential oils in here. Oh, this part is so you can take the lid off, I think, and then like pour your serum in. <laughs> I can't think of, I can't remember the name of it. And then I've also got a lid. Wow, I'm so excited to use this. This is so cute and I absolutely love Amethyst. <laughs> my next beauty product is this set from Fenty Beauty. I absolutely love the packaging of this. Like how cute is it? Like literally, it's so gorgeous. It's like cream and gold, like I love that. And the colors of the makeup is so cute. So I'm gonna open this up with you guys. I can't wait to see what they look like. All right, let's get the lip gloss out first. I feel like bad ripping the packaging, but at least I know I can give it to Sienna because Sienna will definitely make some sort of cool art out of this. <laughs> so I have actually had a Fenty Beauty lip gloss before and I absolutely love the serum. Or oh, I actually, have I? I think it might have been mum's or I'm not sure if it's mine. I can't remember. Oh yes, I have, but it was like a clear one with a little bit of glitter and this. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. And guys, the color is beautiful. I feel like this is gonna look so good. I love these sort of like warm, rusty colors, especially because I have warm skin tone. I feel like this is gonna look really cute. And then we have the Fenty Glow Diamond Bomb All Over Diamond Veal. So I think this might be like a highlighter. Oh no, I know this is more like a bronzer, but it says that you can put it all over your face. So it's kind of like a bronzer, a highlighter, and then I feel like it's even got like a bit of like pinky undertone, like it's warm. So it's gonna make me look very warm. This is so cute. Mum said that she definitely is gonna wanna borrow this. So of course I'll let her. <laughs> oh, and then this one is called Cheeks Out Fenty Glow. And this actually says cream. Oh, this is a blusher, I think, but it's a cream blusher to make you look like you're glowing. I've never used like a cream liquid blusher much before. I normally use like powders on my face. So I'm really excited to try that out and see how it looks. I just, this is nervous, making me nervous in case I get it on myself. <laughs> so that is pretty much all for makeup, except look at this guys. I am so thankful for this because literally for over a year now, I haven't had hair colors because I left them behind. So I've only had hair straighteners. So I love straightening my hair, but sometimes I just absolutely love to have my hair curly. I always feel like, super done up and I just I just love having my hair curly. I think it looks really cute. I can't really curl my hair that well with straightness. I've watched so many tutorials on it and it just like doesn't hold in my hair. I feel like my hair's too long so I have to like spend so long. It really doesn't work with my hair, especially cause it's quite thick and long. So then it's like so much to do. So now I have got, I've actually got a curling iron, which I'm so excited to use. Oh, this is so cute. And this is by the brand Dry Bar. I've actually, for my birthday, mum got me there a brush from there and the brush was absolutely amazing. So I'm hoping that this will also be really amazing. I think mum said this has really good reviews. So I think I'm really excited. So I'm really excited to see how this works in my hair. Ah, it's a rotating clamp for easy curling. Oh, that is so fun. So I'm gonna give it, obviously not plug it, but I'm just gonna see how it would feel. I might have to take a little bit to get used to might take a little bit to get used to. Oh, so you, and then you spin it. Oh, that is so cool. Obviously don't, when it's hot, don't make it touch your forehead like it just, oh no, that doesn't work because then it spins around that bit. Okay, I'm gonna have to work this out, but this, I'm super excited to use it. And I think it even has like adjustable, like you can adjust the heat because on my hair straighteners, you can't adjust the heat. And sometimes I don't like to have it too hot or sometimes it's not hot enough because my hair needs quite a bit of heat for it to actually stay in place. <laughs> so I have actually got a lot of clothes for my Christmas presents, which I'm super happy about because I love clothes and fashion. So the first ones is, I actually opened these up together. So I got this really cute red Christmas bow and then I also got these Christmas trees. These were an early Christmas present, 
so I've been wearing them all December and I just, I really love having like some Christmassy things for December and I don't think I'll really wear them often, but I will save them <laughs> for next Christmas as well because I think it's just so cute. This is really cute. Maybe I'll give this to Sienna after Christmas and like let her borrow it sometimes. They'd obviously wear it sometimes if it matches my outfit. Um, and obviously the Christmas tree. I don't know if I could wear them when it's not Christmas. I feel like that might pushing it a little bit too far but you know maybe i'll try sometimes maybe you'll see me in september saying hey guys it's almost christmas i can wear it yeah <laughs> anyways moving on the next one is this really adorable bikini i absolutely love it so much and it's actually handmade and mum bought it from a little boutique here in mexico in tulum which is like a really hippie boho area so there's like loads of little like hippie boho like handmade stores where they sell all like handmade clothes. So these, this bikini is so cute because I absolutely love the color and I love the fabric like this. For my birthday, mum actually bought me a swimming, a swimming suit, which is like a similar fabric to this. And I absolutely love that swimsuit because it feels like really comfy and like it's not ever gonna like move because it's quite like tight. And I just really like the feeling of this fabric. It's quite like compression. So these bottoms are high-waisted. I haven't tried them on yet but I think they're gonna look really cute. And then the top, I really like it because it's like a sporty sort of style, but then it still feels like sort of feminine and cute. And I love the color because it's like a rusty, orangey, like warm undertone. Like I have to, having a warm undertone in my like skin and hair, I then like to like have a warm undertone on all my clothes. And then I feel like it looks better on me. Whereas if I like wear a cool tone color, then it just like washes me out and it doesn't look good. So I really love that color. Next, I have this polka dot top, which I've actually already worn on my Instagram. Karma actually got this for me and it is so cute. I absolutely love this top. I've actually worn this in a video already as well in my acupuncture video. I think this is such a cute top. I love the ruffles like and I love the color of it. I feel like it's washed a bit different or maybe I just I felt like they were a little bit more orangey but now they look more pink. Maybe I just didn't like see it, but now they look really pink to me. But anyways, yeah, this is a really cute top and I just love the style and it feels like super girly and cute. And I feel like it has your personality in there, Karma, like it's sort of girly and cute. Karma like sort of fancy things, so I really like it. My next present is actually from the Fist Sisters Hide and Seek video. And this was my golden present. I was so shocked by this. Thank you so much, mum. I absolutely love this. I haven't worn it yet because I'm like trying to save it for a special occasion, but this is a guest top and I'm so, I, I really love it. I think it's gonna look really nice with a pair of jeans and trainers and I've also got this purple hair scarf. I've never had anything like this. So I feel like I might have to experiment to see how it looks good because I'm not really sure how you go about it. But I feel like what you do is probably something like this because at first I thought they were two separate things when I opened it up, but then I realized it's one thing. So you like put the scrunchie on and then maybe you just leave it like that. I mean, I can't see how it looks or if you like tie the scarf around, I'm, I'm not, yeah, I reckon you probably just like the scrunchie so you don't have to tie it. So then it just goes like this. How does this look? Okay, it actually doesn't look stupid. I felt, it felt like it might look stupid like this. Like I might need to style it more. I think I need to wrap the scrunchie around because it's a little bit loose on my ponytail, but I actually really like it. I think it looks really cute and it will definitely make doing my, cause I absolutely love bandanas. So then this is like a super quick bandana and I love the floral pattern. And it's also lilac as well. And the green is super cute and they like go really nicely together. Talking about lilac, look at this adorable shirt. Mum said in the shop in H&M, she saw that it was like tied around the models, like the mannequin's waist and it looked really cute. So what I'm thinking would look really nice with this is some biker shorts and then a white bandeau top and then have it like undone rather than having it like an actual shirt, having it more like an accessory, like not done up, like having it like with a top underneath. I feel like that would look really cute. So yeah, I really love this and I, I don't really wear shirts. So this is like a little bit different to me, but I always like getting out of like my comfort zone with clothes. Cause I feel like clothes is something like you kind of get to show like who you are as a person through your clothes. And the fact that you can change your outfit every single day, or you can even change it multiple times a day if, if you want to. But you, the fact that you can change your outfit every single day, like means that you can basically make yourself a new person, like on based on how you look. Like, especially if you're meeting someone for the first time, like even if you try not to, you always are gonna judge someone based on how they look the first time. So, you know, I feel like that's just, I, I really love fashion. <laughs> then I have some socks and these are so adorable. They are hot dog socks, 
put like a sausage dog in a hot dog bun and then with mustard on its back. It was so cute. It also came with some plain back socks, but they're in my drawer somewhere. I think I might have worn them earlier and then yeah, they got all muddy. <laughs> but yeah, these are so cute. These are the pairs with hot dogs on. So I really love lilac. So I'm really happy that they're lilac. And then I've also got like a more plain gray pair with the hot dog on. So they are just so cute. Then I've also got this like set of scrunchies, I guess. And I really love this color. I feel like this is sort of like neutral, but it will like go, so it will go with a lot of my outfits. Like if I, I don't know. If I need like a scrunchie, because most of my scrunchies are pretty colorful, so it's nice to have one which is a bit more plain. And then obviously, my favorite color of all lilac. Yeah, this is my favorite scrunchie now, and I feel like I want to wear it now. Ta da! I think this is such a cute color. Like, I <laughs> you guys know how much I love lilac. So, me and Corns, um, I've been talking forever, so my camera actually turned off. But, anyways, what I was talking about when I was making my coloring book, like, I really enjoyed making all of the drawings, but the bit I struggled the most on was was I really wanted to make handwritten quotes because I thought that would just be so nice. You guys are coloring in, you get to like relax and have fun and look at all of the drawings. But then you also get to see like a positive quote on every page. And I also try to make it like related to the thing, to the drawing. But the thing is, I really am not that good at handwriting or hand lettering. So yeah, it was a little bit of a struggle and I also wanted to like vary the fonts. I did, or like the fonts, you know, the handwritten fonts, but I couldn't really think that creatively and I wanted to make it like 3D where there's like a space inside for you to color in. So hopefully when I complete this book and I have like loads of practice, cause what I really like about this book is it's like interactive and there are loads of pages for you to like practice yourself. And then there's so many tutorials on different particular fonts. And then it will also teach me about like hand lettering, like so then I can come up with my own ideas as well. So I'm really excited to get working on that. So then hopefully Hopefully on my next coloring books, I will be a lot better at the hand lettering part. <laughs> Moving on to the next present. I absolutely love this so much. It's so cute. And first of all, I absolutely love bucket hats. Second of all, it's fluffy and soft and so adorable. And I feel like this is gonna look so cute. Third of all, it's got the Alistair cats on. And when I was a little kid, I absolutely loved that movie so much. Like I just found the kittens so adorable and I just like really wanted like a cute white fluffy or like loads of cute white fluffy kittens for, my, for me to like cuddle onto while watching the Alistair cat film. Anyways, yeah, so I feel like this is such a cute hat because one, I just love the look of it. And then two, every time I wear this, I can like reminisce onto me when I was a little kid watching that film, so. Yeah, this is a really cute hat. Miracles, I'm so excited to show you my next present. Guys, I've got to admit it to you. I am a skater girl now. Oh, skateboarder girl, right, yeah. Um, I'm still in the process of learning. As you can see, it's already a bit roughed up roughed up because since opening this up, I've literally been in the garden with Sienna because she also got a matching skateboard. Well, it's a little bit different. The color of the wheels is different. And we are having so much fun. Sienna is better at me because she, since we've been in this house, there's like a mini penny board and she's been practicing loads on it. But I found the penny board way too small. Like I couldn't fit my feet onto it. So mom knew that I really wanted to also do a little bit of skateboarding. So she got me this skateboard and Sienna one. And I'm, I'm literally gonna have so much fun. Like I've already had so much fun on it that I literally fell over so many times or almost fell over. I Luckily, every ma every time I managed to like, land not on like a painful way, like I managed to squat down. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm so excited to practice more and get better at skateboarding. Then I've also got this really cute basketball. And this time the adjective cute actually fits the basketball because look at the color of it. And the pattern is so cute. <laughs> Sorry guys, I keep saying cute. Um, and I just love the yellow and the pink contrast against the green as well. And yeah, I absolutely love basketball. The only thing is I still haven't got a pump for it. So I need to get a pump because it's a little bit flat so it doesn't bounce at all. So yeah, I need to get a pump that fits that. Next, I have got Twister. This is such a classic game and this is actually like a little twist. <laughs> oh my goodness. This this is a twist on Twister because there's also some added, added extra things. So there's one which you can decide on what it will be. And then there's also one where when you spin it, it will land on it and you have to put like that body part in the air. So if you get that, it means you have to put it in the air. <laughs> so yeah, I've already been playing this with my sister and it's so much fun. We love playing Twister and also Karma really loves it as well. Next, I have got 
some sweaters or hoodies or jumpers. I, I always get so confused between them. Like I know the differences, but like I always say like a sweater is a jumper. Wait, no, a sweater and a jumper are the same. But I always say like hoodies and, and sweaters and jumpers. I don't know, why, why is there so many names for these items of clothing which keep you warm? So first of all, I have got, this was actually my present from Koa, so I opened this one up early. And this is from Aeropostale, and it's, I think I said that right? I'm really not sure how you say this brand, but it looks so, is so fluffy and warm and cute, and I really like having a zip-up hoodie because then if you get too hot, then you can unzip it. So that's always really nice. I like the length of it as well. It's like sort of a little bit, not cropped, but like it's not a super long one. Moving on, I've also got this. It's so cute and it's really oversized as well. This, so this is from Lululemon and I always love Lululemon's labels. First of all, they're like so thick and soft and matte. But then the description. So this is the perfectly oversized crew. Nothing but love for this perfectly oversized sweatshirt. Toss it on after your workout for that roomy just left the gym fit. Cotton terry fabric is naturally breathable and soft against your skin. Oversized fit bum covering lap. So I really like this one because it's really long and oversized and it will look really cute with some like leggings and I just feel like, oh, it looks so comfy and it's actually all cotton, I think. Yeah, it's 100% cotton, so it's gonna be so soft and Oh, I just, I can't wait to wear this. I feel like I'm gonna wear it now because I also just started my period. So like, I really need some jumpers right now. <laughs> That's why I got my jogging bottoms on. <laughs> so Miracles, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you all had an absolutely amazing Christmas and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys, love you.